This is my geode. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I was sent this by a company in Kitchener, Ontario. So that's in Canada. I'll put the link below. The company is called Stonebridge Imports. It's a rock shop. And this is a $13 geode from their store. So $13 Canadian is like $10 US. I think what I'd like to show you is opening this little baby by slicing it with a towel saw. We'll just right through two polished halves. Let's see what's inside. So geodes are formed in sedimentary rock in an air pocket. It forms a hard outer shell and then hopefully crystals inside. Sometimes you pick them up, you can hear loose crystals rattling. I don't hear it in this one. This is from Morocco. So for this project, I'm going to use a 7-inch tile saw. Okay, so this one is solid inside. Now, you could polish, see you've got some wheel marks on it. You could polish this with sandpaper, just lightly rubbing it on finer and finer grains of sandpaper, or use, if you have the tools, a flat lap. Some people call a solid geode a thunder egg because it does look like egg. Let's give it a small polish. We'll show you the result. Well, for this, I'm going to use a vibratory flat lap, just because it's quick and easy for me. All it's doing is rubbing the rock on a felt pad that has some polish on it. So if you're interested, I have more details about using the flat lap in other videos. And then if you're just going to use sandpaper, I have videos in that as well. Well, these are probably almost done. Let's take them out, clean them off. Well, there's my geode inside with a quick polish. Here we've seen something that no one has laid eyes on ever before, which really is kind of cool. Well, thank you for watching. We'll do it again soon.